buying that fridge was the best decision I ever made. I'll tell you why next. bloody camping fridges are out there. The bloody fridge market right now is ridiculous. How many different different brands and styles are on the market. And it makes it really confusing about what you actually need. Um, even I've probably got overkill. But people that go out and want to buy these massive 100 litre plus fridge freezers and stuff they're just complete overkill and most of the time you're just wasting your money. I really believe that. You're just wasting your money because 99% of the people are just going to do either at max week, week long trips, weekend trips and stuff like that. And you just don't need that much capacity. Fair enough if you're putting an auxiliary fridge in a caravan or something like that and you wanted, just like you do at home when you have, you've got your freezer inside the house but you have a chest freezer outside. I just think that um, a lot of people kind of go overboard when they're buying a fridge um, for capacity because, um, and, and I'm guilty of it too. I've just bought another another fridge. Um, well, I actually bought another two fridges. So I did have a 50 litre Waco. Great fridge. I only ever had one issue. On a super hot day, I had the fridge in the back seat of the truck. I was running it while I was at work. And I think it just got so hot in the car that it just shut down. It just did, <laughs> it wanted no part of that day. So that's the only ever drum I've had with it. Other than that, it's been a really, a really good fridge. So I've still got it. Um, since then I've, I've up, updated, so in the F250, when I got the tray and canopy configured, um, the layout on the inside of the canopy, I wanted to put an upright. Never had an upright before, didn't really know what to expect, but in my mind I was thinking all the kind of negatives that I had with the 50 litre Waco with having drinks on the bottom, food on top, you'd reach in, grab a drink, shit would fall down. So when I was designing the layout of the canopy, I wanted to have an upright in there. I think a lot of people go overkill when they choose a fridge and I was guilty of it too until I used the current size that I have. Um, I was trying to fit a 110 litre upright in the F250's canopy and you, I couldn't really do it. Um, if I had a, if it was a 79 series, the canopy's uh, designed a bit higher where the F250, um, the canopy's a lot lower. So I couldn't actually get a 110 litre up inside there so ended up going with the 85 litre Bushman um, upright fridge and it has been one of the best decisions I've ever made and I've partnered that fridge with the 63 litre Ridge Rider it's either a freezer or fridge um, you can have either either but it's also got the drawer on the on the bottom side of it so I'll show you that Great fridge, um, made by Evercool, um, rebranded with Ridge Rider. If you have a canopy and you're looking to put a fridge in there, I would highly recommend considering an upright. It is just so easy and so quick to just open the door, grab what you want out and close it again without everything kind of falling in on top of each other, using a stupid fridge slide or whatever. The upright has been the best decision why I have another fridge, I have two fridges in the canopy, um, the 63 litre Ridge Rider. Why I have that one is because I use that as an auxiliary uh, drinks fridge and also having um, meat and extra stuff in there and then I kind of take it from the Ridge Rider fridge and put it into the upright. So that way the upright's in the kitchen side, just grab what you want out of there if you're grabbing meat out and then cooking them, whatever, and then as it kind of, the supplies dwindle if you're away for a long time, for a couple of weeks, 
you just go around the other side, take other things out of the other fridge. So it's kind of like what you do at home, where you have like a chest freezer inside your garage or stuff like that. That's my concept on what I've done anyway, is basically having the Ridge Rider as my backup fridge and having other things, bulky items in that fridge, extra drinks and stuff like that. And then the upright 85 litre Bushman is basically just for um, load all the food into it and that's on the kitchen side. Um, you can still have drinks and everything in there, so as my drinks dwindle and I start getting down to the last few, I'll go around the other side, get cold drinks out of the Ridge Rider, bring them around, put them in the upright, and then we're good to go. So you just need to think about your capacity and, and what you actually want. If you're going away on big trips, um, and that's what you're planning on doing, then sure, go, go the larger fridge so you have a larger capacity, but to be honest, if you're just doing weekends, you only need like a 50 litre max. Um, my Waco, I've had it for probably four or five years now. It's been a great fridge. 50 litres is more than enough um, for weekends away and stuff like that. Even, even staying away a week and a half over Christmas and stuff, there's plenty of room in there to then like top it up with stuff. And So the convenience of this fridge, I absolutely love it. It's so simple to just open the fridge and grab out what you need and just shut it again. That's, it's, you haven't got everything falling back in like you do on a normal portable fridge freezer. So the Bushman has a latch up the top here. It's very well insulated, but you can have your beers up the top here. The fridge is empty right now because I'm at home and we just, we cleaned it out the other day from our trip away. Um, so basically I can have a few beers in here after work, grab a beer out, whatever. Um, but all your shelving, so a lot of people like, yeah, but a portable fridge, everything's kind of jammed in and nothing can move around. Yeah, I, I understand that. But if you have this thing packed right, things don't move around. Like they do to an extent, but not as bad as what I thought even they would. I thought that everything could be kind of jammed up against the door and when you open it, everything would fall on the ground, but it hasn't been that way at all. So the way I kind of configure it is that the top shelf here, you can have um, dips and your cheeses and stuff like that, your margarine or your butter spreads, all those sort of things. Um, this shelf here I use for meat, so all your rump steaks, T-bones, sausages, stuff like that. That's what I use the bottom section for. Inside the door here, I normally um, might buy a bottle of juice, bottle of milk, have them inside the door as well. Um, I usually just run the beers up here on top. Um, and then as my beer is empty and I've got a couple left, I'll go around the other side to the other fridge and bring some around, slide them in, where you go. Or I can just take them straight from the other fridge from because it is a drawer, so I'll show you that in a minute. But the convenience of this is you've also got... Um, these two racks here, which will pop up so you can fit taller items in, just like that. So that way you can fit a full bottle of wine up through there as well. And you just gotta you just gotta pack it right. If you pack it, if you pack it kind of half-assed and you just shove shit in there, yeah, it's gonna fall out on you when you open the door. But um, the three times, three camping trips that I've used this up right now been fantastic never had an issue because I've packed it right so and up here I've also got oh I've got one left so ice blocks frosty fruits ice cream I do know a Ben and Jerry's tub if you squash the lid slightly will fit in there so there's a hot tip love Ben and Jerry's so the fridge also does have a full cage around it as well that Tim from Mitts Alloys made me and it also has this fascia plate where the fridge actually bolts into. It's all nut inserted on the inside, but it's a full cage around that fridge now, protecting it from anything in the canopy that may slide and hit it. You're working around the kitchen and stuff, um, I think a drop side just kind of gets in the way because you kind of you don't always want it. You kind of you can pull it down and it's there, but I think I love the upright because it, I don't have the big drop slide and the weight of another 40 odd kilos in the canopy i've shaved all that weight off just by having an upright and guys i love it best decision i've ever made 
in a modification to one of my four wheel drives. Hands down, the best mod I've ever done. I love this fridge and I'll always put it upright in my future builds from now on. Righto, so. Moving around to the driver's side. So this is the off side from the kitchen. I've got the 63 litre Ridge Rider. It's an ever-cooled made fridge um, from Super Cheap Auto. This is my, it's not so much a backup fridge, but it's like having a chest freezer in the shed at home. That's basically how I'm using this fridge. It's basically take things from this, when I'm going on a, a big trip or a couple of weeks, take things from this fridge around and stick them in the upright as I need them, as I need it to refill the upright. So that way I'm not constantly running to the shop all the time and uh, picking things up. So, guys, this fridge is brilliant and ever cool. If you watch this, please make this fridge again. I struggled to find, I found one at Taylor's Beach near Nelson's Bay. That's where I picked this one up from. It was a display model. I don't know why you're discontinuing it. Apparently that's what's happening, unless you guys are bringing out a new model, but I haven't seen anything. I love this fridge. This fridge is awesome. So, guys, another hot tip. You might probably wonder why there's a, a rag in there. Never fully seal up your fridge when you are either not using it or you've turned it off. Always put something in the seal there to allow airflow to get through the fridge. So that way it doesn't smell. Because if you've ever had a fridge, even if you've taken all the food out and cleaned it, if you've ever had a fridge locked up, sealed, even after you've cleaned it out and wiped it out, and you open it, it stinks. Like, no tomorrow. Fridges that have been used, even though they've been cleaned and then sealed up, they just have a horrid smell. So just um, just stick something in there if you're not using it, and that's why the rag's in there. So anyway, I love this fridge, guys, and this is why. So I've done away with the fridge slide. Now I have a drawer. So it's a drawer fridge as well. And then on the top, I can access the top to get out meat and other things that I want to have in there like you would a chest freezer at home out in the shed. So that's basically how I'm using this fridge to have extra things in there. So if you check out Mr. Buckaroonie's channel, he's done an awesome review on this fridge. I'm not going to go too deep into this fridge. So check out his channel. He's got an awesome review. This is the 63 litre Ridge Rider drawer fridge. It's a combo. So fridge or freezer. So uprights versus portable fridge freezers, I think. Portable ones definitely do have their place. I think if you are going to do a canopy setup, I would highly recommend looking at a an upright fridge with a cage around it, like I've done in the F250. Um, you can still run a portable fridge freezer like you've seen on the other side of the truck. Um, I have the, that 63 litre fridge around there as well. Um, but yeah, it just saves the weight of having a heavy drop slide. Um, that fridge in particular, um, around the other side, the 63 litre Evercool Ridge Rider, saves also on a drop slide just because of its design with the draw. If I do need to get anything out of the top of it, I simply have the uh, step that goes on the F250's wheel and I just step up, grab what I want out, and close it. I'm not always in it all the time. So it's a completely different story if your fridge, that style of fridge, is your primary fridge and you're getting things in and out all the time, then yes, it definitely needs to be accessible and a fridge slide is probably your best option. So if you're keen to save weight and stuff like that, I would highly recommend to jump onto Super Cheap's website and try and snap one of those fridges up before they're gone. So even in the back of a wagon, like if I had a wagon vehicle, um, like a Land Cruiser or something, 200, <laughs> I would not be putting a drop slide in. Nope, no way in hell. I would be putting an upright. If I could fit an upright in there with a draw system, like a drifter draw system or something, and have an upright all day long, you're gonna save that much weight, 40 plus odd kilos of drop slide, you're saving in weight by just having an upright and it's more convenient just to able to just open it, grab your stuff out and be done. Like you could have, um, you might be like, yeah, but you can't fit enough drinks in it. Sure you can. Like, so the way I've got it laid out is that I have my beers along the top door, like I just showed you. And then I can have a case 
just in the truck and as I take one out I put one back in it's just that simple so that's pretty much my thoughts on um, an upright versus having a portable fridge freezer um, portable ones definitely do have their advantages of being able to take it out of the vehicle whenever you decide to um, put it in vehicle A to B um, put it in your boat stuff like that so if you can afford to have two fridges have a portable fridge and also have a upright um, I would highly recommend it it has been one of the best decisions I think I've made and I was hesitant I was like oh no all the shit's gonna fall against the door and then when I open it shit's gonna fall on the ground and it doesn't it really doesn't so if you pack it right and you pack it yeah good it no issues at all so in saying that my beer's empty so I need to get a refill and hope you've enjoyed the video today nice chilled out session down here I'm on the property nice isolated spot have a go at it grab a beer out chuck it in there and you're done cheers see you next time